music is just my true calling, you know, because music is a service. It's very therapeutic, especially to the listener, you know, because usually there's somebody out there going through the same thing that I'm going through. So that's what motivates me to just, you know, live in my calling and my purpose and in my truth, because it's not only therapeutic to me, but to the listeners and my following as well. Right. Okay. And, um, you know, like, you know, these days, you know, um, artists have been getting a lot of flack as far as like not, not, I mean, you know, like kids, kids look up to artists, right? So a lot of people feel like artists had a had should have a responsibility of watching the type of music they put out. So do you feel like you have to uh, live up to that responsibility of being a role model to these younger kids out here in your music? Absolutely, because music is the only thing that doesn't need your permission to influence you. You know what I'm saying? Out of all the influences, the main influence, and you know, music could. You know, you can put something in your music and there's a kid looking up to you, you know what I'm saying? And he gonna go do everything that you're talking about because he think that it's cool, you know what I'm saying? Because in order to be a rapper, you have to be up to date. Like, well, what's cool, you know what I'm saying? The new shoes, um, the new, just the new stuff that's coming out. Like, you gotta stay on top of the waves, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like if you're not careful, you know what I'm saying, you can have a bad influence on the youth. And you seeing it happen today with, I ain't gonna speak on no names, you know what I'm right. saying? But you seeing it happen today where, you know, kids are looking up to artists, you know what I'm saying, and they getting in trouble and they putting themselves in a bad situation because they think it's cool to do what the artists is rap about and they don't even understand that that's, a, that's an agenda, you know what I'm saying, that they trying to teach to our people. It's all poison, man. It's all influence. So do you think, do you think social media plays a big role in that? Yeah, absolutely, because social media is the number one influence. Like, people damn near take social media more serious than they do real life these days, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. So it's crazy. It's crazy out here. Right. Okay. So, what's some of the keys to success that you can give some of these younger artists out here? Because, you know, like you just said, you signed with Sony Music or whatever. So, a lot of kids, a lot of younger artists are trying to strive to that point. What's some of the keys to success that you can give these guys? And, you know, women, females, whatever. Well, first, the first key is just stay true to yourself. You know what I'm saying? You got to stay true to yourself because when you get known, you know what I'm saying? That's why a lot of rappers, they have a hard time when they go in the studio because they lying. You know what right. I'm saying? Not stay true to themselves. Exactly. So you gotta stay true to yourself, you know what I'm saying? Stay true to your brand and be creative, man. Like don't go into this shit with a limited mind. Like anything you want, you can make happen, man. You can manifest. Like manifestation is real. Your thoughts have power. You know what I'm saying? So I say be true to yourself, you know what I'm saying? Find your sound. You definitely need to find your sound because you know a lot of the music these days, it sounds the same, you know what I'm saying? That's why uh, a lot of the stuff that's on the billboard and, and a lot of the records that's getting pushed out to the masses today, you know what I'm saying? It's not very appeasing to the, air, uh, the ear versus music back in the day, like the 2000s, you know what I'm saying? Like, because it all sounds the same, you know? So straight, stay true to you, find your sound, stick to your brand, and stick to your vision, man. Don't let nobody tell you that it can't be done because you've been seen it get done multiple times, man, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, man, that's what I got to say, man. Y'all can make that shit happen if you want to. Right, most well, definitely, definitely got to believe in yourself. But I believe you have nothing. So, you know, he definitely hit it on point right now. I agree with that 1,000%, bro. And um, I want to I wanna kind of go back to what you was talking about moving to Houston. So do you feel like right now Houston is definitely one of the hotbeds for, like, talent in this rap game right now? Yes, man, there's definitely a scene here. There's a whole lot of talent in the city, you know what I'm saying, man. And we got OGs to put us on you know what I'm saying, the game and, and how to behave, not kill our own, you know what I'm saying, stick together, man, for the bigger, bigger vision, you know what I'm saying, because Texas really do got a music scene, man, that's why everybody from L.A. is moving to Texas, you know what I'm saying, because... North Carolina, South Carolina, Louisiana, Florida, everybody coming out here. Exactly, you know what I'm saying, so I feel like there's a lot of talent in this city, and I feel like, you know, as long as we stick to you know, the foundation that the OGs, you know, laid for us, you know what I'm saying, to pay the way for us, we gonna, we gonna be straight, you know what I'm saying? But I also got another question, like, I kind of feel like a lot of the younger artists, they don't really tap in with the OG artists, like, they don't really kind of, like, appreciate their OGs, you know what I'm saying? Like, in Cali, they respect their OGs, you know what I'm saying? That's kind of why they still kind of got the kind of like that Cali sound. So do you feel like artists here need to kind of tap in with the sound? I mean, I'm not saying like, I'm not saying do what the OGs did, but kind of keep that sound going. Do you feel like boys should kind of keep that sound going a little bit, respect the OGs and tap in with them? Yeah, absolutely. Because at the end of the day, these are the OGs. You got to respect them. They, they, without them, 
there's no scene here. You know what I'm saying? So I don't I don't be understand that. You know what I'm saying? Cause I grew up listening to all the OGs. You know what I'm saying? Why wouldn't you pay homage? You know what I'm saying? Why wouldn't you respect uh, and, and embrace where you're from? That's what Texas is all about. You know what I'm saying? We got our own culture down here. We got our own way of talking. We got our own way of doing things. So why would you not tap in with the OGs? You know what I'm saying? Why would you not try to take the sound that DJ Screw laid? You know what I'm saying? And keep pushing with it. Cause obviously it's got us this far. Right, real talk here, yeah. I, I just be feeling like sometimes, you know, artists out here in Texas, you know, they look at other artists from, you know, from Georgia, Florida, Cali, the Detroit sound popping right now, and they feel like, okay, I gotta do that to get in the game. When I, when I, I was to artists, you don't have to do what everybody else doing to be successful. Just be true to who you are and where you come from. Yes, you, you know. know. So most definitely, bro. You know, so we definitely here, no nope, man. So. And then they out here, you know what I'm saying, they trying to they trying to rap like you got people in Texas trying to rap. And it's the same thing in Austin, you know what I'm saying? It's just a whole bunch of imitators. You got people who can't be original and they, they trying to rap like somebody else from Chicago or somebody else from North Carolina. It's like, bro, just stay true to you because the listener can tell when you when, when you capping in your music, you know what I'm saying? Like the listener can tell. Even your audience on social media can tell when you have it, you know what I'm saying? So it's important that you just straight stay true to yourself, you know what I'm saying? And embrace where you from, man. Like, be proud of this, man. It's Texas, man. Like, we got everything to be proud of. Big money, Texas, for sure, man. For sure, man. Um, I got another question, man. You know, like, being an artist, you know, they always say, well, like, these days, they say being an artist is a dangerous job. So, obviously, you know what I'm saying? We've seen artists recently pass away, get shot at go to jail, all that type of stuff. So, what's some of the ways that you, you know what I'm saying, continue to stay out the way and stay alive and stay free, you know what I'm saying? What's some, what's some of the things that you do to make sure you're good, you, you can go back home to your family and shit every night? Well, first, you know what I'm saying, I'm a chosen one, so anything for me against me won't prosper regardless. But the first thing I say is, you gotta select your lane, you know what I'm saying? Cause the type of energy that you put out, that's what's gonna come back to you. So if you putting out gang banging, you know what I'm saying? You putting out that type of energy and you in that type of lane, um, of course you're gonna, you, you can expect the repercussions from that, you know what I'm saying? And also, um, you right. Being a rapper and an artist in general is the most dangerous job, you know, because it's a lot of pressures that come with this shit that, that you don't see all the time on social media and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? But I think it's important that you just, people stay focused on their vision and just don't entertain no no bullshit, don't be out here starting, no, no drama, you know what I'm saying? Because in the end, we all supposed to be coming together anyway, you know what I'm saying? So um, I feel like if... if People just stay focused on their vision, you know what I'm saying? Stay out the way, you know, and I'm in a two-year relationship, you know what I'm saying? I done already found my soulmate, my queen, you know what I'm saying? So that also eliminates a lot, because I'm not out here in these clubs, you know what I'm saying? Uh, with these shysty-ass females, you know what I'm saying? They get you caught up and set up and stuff like that, you know, so. And I mean, you saw it happen with Mo3, you know what I'm saying? And R.I.P., you know what I'm saying? Mo3, man. Legend in the making, for sure, man.